Katrina here from Ride Like a Viking. This video is about the benefits of having a horse that can stand still on the loose rein while you mount. And I'm now going to show you two different scenarios of how you can start your ride. One scenario is holding tight reins while you mount to prevent the horse from moving. And when you want to start riding, you let go of the reins and the horse wanders off. <laughs> and the horse doesn't wander off. She knows it now. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, anyway, uh, I will show you a former clip of this mare, how uh, she used to be while mounting. So I have to pick up the reins, hold tight reins. Jump into the saddle, keep my reins tight so she doesn't move off. And when I let go of the reins, she starts to walk. <laughs> the scenario is you have short reins and when you want your horse to go forward, you let go of the reins. The other scenario, which is like this one, is that you mount on the loose rein. And when you want your horse to go forward, you use your leg aid to make the horse move forwards. And of course, when riding, we want to ride the horse from behind and forward not from forward to behind. And if you start your ride with a horse that wanders off because the reins are loose, you are more likely to have a horse that is starting the ride on his front feet. And the front part of the horse is the first part that starts moving. But if you have a horse that can stand still on the loose rein and you ask with your legs for the horse to move forward, it is more likely that you have a horse that starts walking with its hind legs first and you ride the horse from behind to forward.